We started Luke's Landing back in the fall of 2007. Um, I had an idea of wanting to work with cats um, after I had a little bit more free time in my life and talked with my bed about which cats are the hardest to place and we decided upon cats with feline leukemia. They're usually um, very difficult to get placed in homes and as a result they're often euthanized so we decided to start by taking in the hardest uh, kitties to place and um, said at the beginning we would only take in about 10 then it was going to be 20, then it was going to be 30, and now it was at, most recently it was at 40. We kind of broke the rule, it's at 43 right now on site. And that's about all we can handle with a giant room full of cats. Um, one of the things we're looking to do to be able to grow is to still take in more kitties but place them into foster homes. And that is one of our main goals now, is trying to find homes where the kitties can live um, and we'll support them and provide vet care, we'll provide food, litter, whatever's needed, but that's our way of expanding in the future. What we're looking for is somebody that probably does not have any other kitty cats, um, that would maybe they're between having kitty cats, they've had one and maybe lost one recently, um, or uh, know somebody, maybe an elderly person that could use having um, a companion. We have one that was recently placed with a woman who's having some memory issues and uh, her doctor felt it would be good to have a pet. So uh, individuals like that or somebody that's just looking for a good companion. We'll provide the veterinary services, we'll even provide the food and the litter um, as needed and make sure that um, checking in frequently, but the goal would be to get more of these guys in household situations where they can enjoy themselves. Ideally, a lot of these guys are very social, so you might, it would be nice in the ideal world if you could take two, because most cats, if they're social, do enjoy having a companion. Um, otherwise, it could just be one, um, but it, it would really be up to the individual individual who's looking to foster how many, um, and based on the space of their home, whether you had enough to take more than just one. The commitment can vary. We're going to be very flexible. Um, we have a couple right now that are indefinite, meaning they're living there. They've been, one's been in a foster home for about a year. Uh, one of our volunteers has uh, the kitty Lexi in her home. Um, another one has been for several months and plans to stay there indefinitely. Um, even if somebody could just take a kitty for three months and um, then needed to, you know, couldn't go ahead with that commitment, we'd find another foster situation. But um, a lot of these kitties are currently held in, you know, uh, cages or rescues or shelters, and getting them out in a home environment, even if they're moved around a bit, I think is still better for them. They're, they're great cats. Um, other people talk about they're just something special. These guys somehow know they're special. Um, where can you have 43 cats get along as well as they do? There are very few places that you can see this large number of kitties getting along. And they're just very special. When you consider most of these guys probably lived outside, were dumped, or were living in some kind of feral colony, the fact that they're all as friendly as they are just makes them very unique. 